What's up guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. I just wanted to show you guys what Dehancer looks like and what it's capable of. This video will be split up into four different parts. The first part will be what is Dehancer. And then I'll talk about who Dehancer is for. And then I will give you guys my pros and cons of Dehancer. And then the last thing will be kind of my final thoughts and whether or not I think you guys should buy Dehancer or not. Also, before I continue, I just wanted to say that Dehancer did not give me a script and they also are not paying me to make this video. All they did was give me access to their Premiere Pro add-on. So everything that I say in this video is my own thoughts and my own opinions about Dehancer. Okay, so what is Dehancer? Dehancer is a film emulation add-on that you simply just drag and drop onto your footage. And then you can select from their many different film looks and you can play around with the grain and the halation and the bloom to get the look that you are wanting. Next, who is Dehancer for? Honestly, I think Dehancer is for anybody. Whether you are a beginner and you've never even really colored in your life, it's so easy, so simple. You just drag and drop it onto your footage, mess around with the settings until you got the look that you want. Or if you're a professional videographer and you've been doing this for years and you already know how to color, this can really speed up your process that much more. So now I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons. I'm gonna start with the cons first because there's only a couple of them and they're really not that big of a deal. The first one being when you first drop it onto your footage, it automatically gives you a look. I don't like this because I prefer to just start from scratch and build from the bottom and build from nothing, um, but you can still get around this and you can just go through and uncheck all of the boxes to start from zero. My next con would be that it takes forever to render and it takes a long time to export. Unless I'm missing something, I haven't found a way around this. The only thing I've been able to do is just turn off Dehancer while I'm editing my video. And once I'm done and I've got the layout of my video done, I'll go back through, turn on Dehancer, and then I'll just make sure all of my clips look how I want them to look. And then I'll hit the export button, but still it takes a long time to export. So if you guys know any way around this, please let me know. As far as pros, I love the Rec. 709 transformation. I've always tried using a bunch of different LUTs to transform my footage from log to Rec. 709 and they just never look right. And that's one thing that Dehancer has done really well. Another thing would be their grain. I've always tried using like grain overlays and they just never look right. What Dehancer allows you to do is select how much grain you want in the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows, which helps you get your footage to actually look like film. The last thing would be, like I've been saying, it's super easy, super simple, and it can really speed up your coloring process. And for my final thoughts, I've never really been a very good colorist. I've always kind of struggled making my footage look how I want it to, and when I finally get it to look how I want it to, it takes me hours and it takes me a really long time. With Dehancer, within the first couple hours, I was picking it up and learning how to do it. And now when I use Dehancer, it's very, very quick because I've learned what I like and I've learned how to use Dehancer. And I've always seen a lot of people who use Dehancer and I've always just thought it was something for DaVinci Resolve. But when Dehancer sent me their plugin to use on Premiere Pro, it worked just as I expected it to and it was very, very easy. So if you guys were to ask me if I'd recommend you guys buy this, I would say yes. And I think it's 100% worth it. Even if you're just gonna use this for halation or if you're gonna use it for bloom or whatever you wanna use it for, I think it's definitely worth it and it will help speed up your process so much and can really help you achieve the look that you're going for. And if you guys are planning on buying Dehancer, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You guys can also use my code Canyon10 at checkout to help you guys save 10% off of Dehancer. That's gonna be it for this video. If you guys want to see more of Dehancer and how to use it, please let me know down in the comments. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.